I recently discovered a small optimization that you can use with mind control. Um, but before I get to that, let's set the scene a bit with some background knowledge. I'm just hacking engines so we can see the effect on their evasion. They've already lost the manning bonus, by the way, because of the hack. Uh, but normally you'd be hacking weapons. If I mind control the engines crew, then notice it hasn't really done very much. Um, it's not pulling the pilot. So I can fire my chain lasers and they still got most of their evasion. Um, the reason for that is to do with crew priorities. The engine's station is a lower priority than the piloting station, which is the highest station priority. Um, and this crew is not going to go fight the mind control crew. If they were a border, then yes, they'd go fight them. Um, and I think what's actually happening here is that the AI doesn't even notice, as it were, doesn't register that there is a threat here. What will happen when they break the system, though, is the crew does move. And I believe this is because um, the AI sees that there is a system that needs repairing and there's no friendly crew in the room to repair it. So this crew has been assigned a new task. We're going to let them in. And then once they got into that room, they would actually start fighting. So normally what you would do instead is wait for your weapon to be charged and mind control the pilot. The pilot is a higher priority crew, um, so that will actually pull the engines crew. But you have time to, even without hacking locking the doors, to uh, shoot the laser while they are mind controlled. Um, now notice that their evasion is not zero. They don't have a pilot in the room anymore. Um, but they do have level 2 piloting in this case. And level 2 piloting means that uh, when there is no pilot, when there is no uh, friendly crew in the room, they still get 50% of their evasion. So this ship has three engines, that's 15% evasion. And it gets dropped down to 7.5. Now it's showing 7 up here. I don't know if that's a real value and it gets rounded down or if it's just a truncated display value. But in any case, it halves the evasion. So that was the standard tactic we've all been using, mind control the pilot to increase the chance that your shots hit. Um, and you saw that with the uh, level 2 piloting they went down to 7.5% or maybe it was 7% evasion. But in this case when they have two crew we can actually do slightly better. I'm going to mind control this crew immediately. Uh, when you do this would depend on the timing of your weapons. And they take 12.5 seconds to break a system level. Um, once they break that system level, as well as losing one engine, it is going to pull the pilot. So by the time our weapon fires, notice they have 5% evasion. Just going to open the hack doors here. And they still manage to dodge it. But you get the idea. I guess the other interesting thing about this is that it changes the timing of your mind control. Um, because you're using it much earlier, um, it's coming off cooldown sooner as well, so it's available to be used again more quickly. And maybe that would be useful if you want to use it to interrupt uh, subsequent repairs to weapons. Uh, depending on the crew they have, um, you know, they might get it fully fixed anyway, but perhaps a second point of damage. Who knows? I haven't had a lot of time to like think through all the consequences of this, but I think it's interesting that you get your mind control up sooner as well as slightly reducing their chance to dodge your shots.